Thanksgiving holiday, more than 14,000 GM workers received word yesterday that their jobs were being cut. GM announcing that they'll be closing some of their plants in Ohio, Michigan, Maryland, and Canada. The cuts mean 6,000 factory employees and 8,000 salaried workers will be out of a job. Amid slumping sedan sales, the automaker says it is shifting focus to trucks and SUVs, as well as an interest in producing autonomous vehicles. GM is cutting nearly 15 percent of its North American workforce, the largest layoff since the 2008 financial crisis, when GM was bailed out by taxpayers. While the economy is strong, teal steel tariffs imposed by the Trump administration have cost the company a billion dollars. Now President Trump says his administration is exerting, quote, a lot of pressure on the automaker. I was very tough. I spoke with her when I heard they were closing. And I said, you know, this country's done a lot for General Motors. You better get back in there soon. That's Ohio. And Congressman Cicilline weighing in on the situation on Twitter, writing, quote, GM got a huge tax cut thanks to real Donald Trump. Today, we learned they're laying off thousands of American workers and closing three major plants. Working people deserve better, a permanent tax cut for the middle class, lower costs, and good-paying jobs. Hashtag for the people. And the layoffs and closures are scheduled for next year. Michaela McDonald, Eyewitness News.